dear. Whatever will I do? I am home. Oh, now what are you doing? <laughs> Mwah. Shouldn't you be getting ready for the party? Well, I am, dear. I'm just trying to figure out how many hors d'oeuvres to serve tonight. I want to make sure that each guest gets an equal amount with no leftovers. Huh. Everybody gets an equal amount. Oh, I've got it. All we have to do is figure out the number of guests that are coming to the party and then multiply that number times the but number... But we're not sure how many are coming. We may get 12, 16, or 24. <laughs> not sure. Really? Well, we've got the strangest friends. <laughs> well, never you mind. I'm going to get a piece of paper and we'll figure out exactly how much food we need to give 12, 16, or 24 people equal amounts of food with none left over. How's that, honey? Joan? Joan, you're not thinking of calling. <gasps> yes, common multiple man. Years ago, while working for a midtown mathematical conglomerate known simply as Math and Brew, an accountant named Norman Redundant was involved in a freak accident. Oh! Norman was transformed from this to this. Common multiple man. He was endowed with the ability to determine instantly the common multiples of any two or more whole numbers. I am a superhero. In a dumb suit. With a pretty nutty superpower. Well, you go with what you've got. I'm sorry I took so long. Uh, can't you fly or anything? I couldn't even get a cab. But... Have no fear, or common multiple man is here. Uh, yes, yes, I see. All right, well, uh, we're having a party, and we are going to have 12, 16, or 24 guests. We're not sure. Uh-huh. But we do know that we want each guest to get the same amount of hors d'oeuvres with none uh, left over and... 48. You need either 48, 96, or 240. Oh, how did he do that? Oh. Two fur. Yes, well, it's something which dear, I... Dear, uh... dear, it's very, very easy. Look, all you have to do is take the possible number of guests, 12, 16, or 24. You find their multiples, then you find the common multiple. Absolutely. That's the first step. For example, but... here's one. 48. All right, and here's another one. 96. Now, you pick one of the common multiples, you buy that amount of hors d'oeuvres, and everyone will get an equal share. Correct. But the For next... example, <laughs> let's say you picked 48, and 16 guests showed up. Each guest would get three hors d'oeuvres. If 24 guests showed up, each guest would get two hors d'oeuvres. And if 12 guests showed up, each one would get four hors d'oeuvres. You see? Yes. Absolutely, but most All people... All because with... of common multiples. Equal shares, none left over. Yes, but when I did it, I did it instantly and with a funny sound. And you did not. Fine, fine, fine. That's, that's fascinating. Excellent. Very strange costume. Hey, it won't come off, okay? Oh, well, thanks for stopping by, common multiple man. <laughs> We'd love to have you stay, but we've already solved the hors d'oeuvres problem, and... Uh... I, I can find a common multiple for any set of numbers. It's a gift. I'm sure you can. <laughs> well, <laughs> you bye! Most bye. people cannot do you know, this. Joan, we could have done this ourselves. Anyone can. Yes, anyone can do it, but you see what I'm doing. Well, bye! Oh, great. Join us soon hey, for the first guys, adventures of... Uh, my cake! My cake! Open the door! You guys! Is anybody there?